Hey guys, a furnace fun algorithm calculator was released recently and I figured I'd make a video showing it off. So what does a furnace fun calculator look like? Looks like this. So just to explain what this is, um, these are all the possible answers that you can get in furnace fun. Every time you start a new file, just to remind everyone, the answers for grunt each are for the gruntilda squares change. But um, Everything in blue is the most likely answer just every time you start up the game. Um, there's also a subset of answers that you can get, a total of 256. And every time you put in an, a correct or incorrect answer, you'll get a reduced set of answers that you can choose from. So for example, how it works, just to show it off really quickly. Um, so, let's say the question is, what kind of toothpaste does Grunty use? So, I'll type in the question, not the answer. So, toothpaste. And you'll notice that Salted Slug, which is the most likely response out of these three, was highlighted. So, if it's correct, I can do one of two things. I can either double-click it, left-click it, or I can hit F1. So, notice that Salted Slug is guaranteed, the other two are zero, and it reduces my remaining patterns to 99. Undo that. If toothpaste again. If it's incorrect, I either double right click it or I hit F2. It gives me the same effect and gives me new probabilities and reduces my subset of patterns to 157 from 256. So let's just answer a couple of questions and see what it lo looks like in action. I'll do some pausing just because this is emulator to show it off a little bit slower. Uh, here we go. So, what kind of broomstick does Grunty use? So let's pause that, bring this back up, and type in uh, broomstick. There are some questions that might have some keywords that are the same, so you might have to type in more of the question. So right now it says Rough Rider Deluxe. So let's bring that back up. So Rough Rider Deluxe. So that is incorrect. So, Rough Rider Deluxe was incorrect, and it brings it from 256 to 155. Uh, let's try it again. What is it going to be like for dinner? So let's pause that. What is it going to be like for dinner? So I'll type in dinner, and it's telling me slug stew. So, I'm going to guess slug stew, which is the top option. And that is also incorrect. So I'm going to hit F2 over here. And it brings it down to 96. The new question is, what's my favorite magazine? So bring this back up. I'll type in magazine. Gives us Warty Girls Weekly. I'm at the top choice. I'm going to just select that one really quickly. So that was the correct answer. So, What Are Girls Weekly, that was correct, from 96 to 39. So that's just a quick demonstration of how to work that out. Um, as far as just showing off everything, double just means you double click, single means you single click, uh, reset starts it over, undo is taking an action back. Question shows you every question individually, and if you click one of the questions, it'll bring you to that. Uh, specific line of answers. And advanced is for Game Shark codes. Um, what you can do is you can use a Game Shark or just put in Game Shark codes if you use an emulator, and it will tell you which uh, which number corresponds to the right answer. So, for example, if we reset everything and we and you click advance and you click whichever numbers correspond to your answers, it should hypothetically give you the right one. I've never used this, so I can't really say for sure how it works. You have to experiment with it. Um, and I know my pattern number. If for some reason you know what pattern number it is, you can say any number from one to two, or any number from zero to 255, so let's say 123. These will give you all the likely answers. So you can either go through just slowly trying to chug through all the grunty squares, or you can talk to the Bruntelda and get, or talk to one or two Bruntelda's and get a complete set of answers. 
Um, huge shout out to Bonaparte's. I'll link his information in the description section. He's the guy that came up with this. And huge shout out to Kirk Q who made him figure this out. So um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.